Comparing Proportional and Non-Proportional Situations, Lesson 4.4D. We can use what we've learned about proportional and non-proportional relationships to compare similar real-world situations that are given using different representations. We can compare situations given a graph, table, or an equation. Remember, when the y-intercept b value is zero, the relationship is proportional and the graphed line will go through the origin, zero, zero. When the y-intercept b value is not zero, the relationship is non-proportional and the graphed line will cross the y-axis above or below the origin. We can compare the unit rate of the equation to the unit rate of the graph. We're going to compare y is equal to 60x to this graph. If we substitute 1 for x, we have 60 times 1, y is equal to 60. Our y to x is 60 to 1. There's no y-intercept. There's no b in this equation. So the equation is proportional. That means it's 0 for b. The unit rate is 60 for one unit. Now, we can find an intersection of x and y on the graph. We can see for 2, for x, y is 150, right here. For y to x, we have 150 to 2. We can simplify that to 75 to 1. So this graph shows a greater unit rate than the equation. Bob needs to rent a carpet shampoo. Which store has the least expensive cost for one day? We have store A and store B. Store A is shown as an equation, and store B is shown as a graph. We're going to compare them. We have for store A, y is equal to 25x. If we substitute 1 for x, we know y is equal to 25. The unit rate is 25 to 1. There's no y-intercept. So the cost is $25 per day, and this is going to be less expensive. If we look here, we can see our scale is counting by fives. So this is 1 right here, and the y-intercept is 20. There is a $20 initial deposit plus daily rent. The slope is 10 over 1, so it's 10. So the daily rent is $10. This store is more expensive. As an equation, we would have the slope of 10 times the number of days plus the initial $20. If we put 1 for x, we're going to have a total cost of $30 for one day. This is more expensive than store A. So we previously found that store A was less expensive for one day, which store is less expensive for two days rental? What if Bob needs that carpet shampoo for two days? For store A, we have y is equal to 25x, and for B, we have our same graph. If we put 2 for x, then y is going to equal 50. It'll cost him $50 for two days. For store B, here's 2. It's at 40 for y. For a two-day rental, store B is less expensive. Store A has a proportional fee since the y-intercept is zero. We have nothing here for a plus B, so that means it's zero, so it's proportional. And store B has a non-proportional fee since the y-intercept is 20. Proportional relationships generally have one condition, like the cost per unit or cost per hour, like y is equal to 10x. Non-proportional relationships have an added condition, like a base fee plus a cost per unit or hour. Word problems will use clue words, such as and or but. We have $10 per hour and a $20 deposit. So we would have y is equal to 10x plus 20. Sam needs to hire someone to cut down a dead tree in his yard and has the choice of two companies. In both cases, X is the number of hours and Y is the total charge. Compare and contrast 
the two companies. So we have tree removal A and tree removal B. A is given as this equation, and B is given as this table of values. If we substitute 1 for x, then y is equal to 150. And if we substitute 2, it's 300. If we substitute 3, it's 450. If we substitute 4, it's 600. So we have our table of values here for this equation. Here, we're showing 1 for x and 175 for y. This was only 150. And 2 for x and 300. Well, that's the same. And 3 for x and 425 for y. Well, that's less. And 4 for x and 550. Well, that's less. When we graph both lines using brown for A and light green for B, we can see that B is more expensive at first. It starts higher up on the y-axis. It doesn't start at 0, 0. And it's the same at 2 hours. And we can see that in the table. 2 is 300 for y. 2 is 300 for y. And then it's less expensive after that. Once we get into the 3, 4, our y values are less than for tree removal A. We can see the slope of the line is below this brown one. The brown one has a greater slope than the green one. So for one hour, tree removal A is a good deal. And at two hours, it's the same deal. But beyond that, tree removal B is the better deal. It's less expensive. Two stores sell the same design shirt. Store A charges $30 for each shirt, and Store B charges $40 each with a coupon for $10 off the total purchase. Store A, our equation is Y is equal to 30X because it's $30 for each shirt. So depending on the number of shirts we buy is going to be the total cost. For store B, we have y is equal to 40x minus 10 because it's $40 for each shirt, but we take $10 off the total purchase. When we buy one shirt, it's the same price. When we take the $10 off, the y value is 30, just like store A. But when we buy two shirts, well, now store B is $70 and store A is 60. When we buy three shirts, now store B is $110 and store A is only 90. So when we buy one shirt, it doesn't matter which store we buy it from. But if we're going to buy more than one shirt, store A is less expensive. We're now finished with module four and we're gonna be moving on to module five. We're gonna be learning about writing an equation in slope intercept form or from a graph or from a description. Keep doing your best, and please join me for the next module. Bye.